everybody's having a wonderful day it is almost night now it's a great day so I am about to show you how I stuff my bell peppers as you can see here I have mostly green ones I have one orange and one yellow and I've cut the tops out and cleaned them really well as you can see and I'm going to simmer them a little bit or put them in the oven for about 10 minutes so they can soften up some. And this is my ground meat that I'm using. And these are the seasonings that I'm using with the, uh, to season my ground meat. I'm using black pepper, of course. And this is onion powder. I have some dash and I have some Chef Paul. Uh, magic meat and this is garlic powder and this is Tony's Chachery's no salt seasoning so this is what I'm going to use to season my um, meat I'm going to use one egg that I've beaten with the whisk and I'm going to use about a, one serving spoon of mayo to put in my meat and come right over here and this is the meat I've put seasoning in the in the meat as you can see here also let me show you what I've chopped up my seasonings that I've chopped up red yellow green bell pepper green onions and um, yellow onions and I have some parsley flakes in there so I'm going to saute this a little bit in a little oil just to get them a little soft not just um, really really soft but so that when they cook in the oven and we bite down on them they won't be really crunchy but they won't be overcooked either so this is what I'm doing here I'm mixing up my meat with the seasoning and this is about I'll say about a pound and a half of uh, almost two pounds of ground beef and I'm using the chuck here and this is the egg that I've beaten I'm gonna pour that in and I will put um, I'm going to mix this and then I'll put that serving spoon of mayo in there and once I saute my onions and my seasonings um, the peppers and all I will pour that in here and I'm going to put the serving spoon of mayo in here and then we will be back and meet you at the stove okay these are the bell peppers and onions that I've sauteed a little to put in the meat and I have put the peppers in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes I have a cup of rice here that I'm going to add to my meat and this is eight ounces of tomato sauce and let's come right here with let me get a bowl, a mixing bowl. Here, wait just a minute. Get a mixing bowl. Wait just a minute. And I might add that I always rinse my ground meat off. It may sound strange to some, but I rinse everything off. And I let it drain. I just run the cold water over it and um, then let it drain okay and this is my meat here and I'm going to take these um, peppers and onions 
and put them right here in this mixture that I have. Okay. Have this all in here, and I am going to pour this uh, tomato sauce in and mix that up. And let's see, let's get this all mixed up, get it incorporated really well, and this is going to be delicious. I already know. We're going to incorporate this tomato sauce and the peppers and onions. Get this all mixed really well. And then I'm going to add my rice. The rice has already been cooked. And it's a cup of rice that I'm going to add in here. I have preheated my oven to 350. And I'm going to let this cook on 350 for about 35 or so minutes. And then I will take it out in the last 10 or 15 minutes. I will add my cheese on top and let it melt through. But I'm going to get all of this incorporated and I'll be back soon okay here are the bell peppers welcome in everybody this is Patty and I'm back to show you the final presentation these are the stuffed bell peppers and I've topped them with cheese shredded cheddar cheese so if you like my presentation, please subscribe and tap that notification bell so you can be reminded when I am uploading my next video. I thank you so much. Thank you subscribers. Thank you followers. And we will see you soon from Patty's Southern Kitchen. Goodbye.